Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of This Week in History. I'm Alexandra Schneider. Thank you so much for joining me. This week we're going to start off with some sports news. In 1907, the National Polo Tournament out on Wensia was in full swing and the championships were on. Competing teams in addition to on Wensia included Buffalo, Rockaway, Bryn Mawr, and Fort Riley. An interesting fact about Fort Riley, this was the first time that a regular Army post had sent teams to participate in the National Polo Tournament. This was also the first time the National Tournament had taken place west of the Mississippi. Representatives of, of Owensia included R. R. McCormick, Frederick McLaughlin, W. W. Keith, J. F. Ford, Harry Good, Garfield King, James Thorne, and Stephen Bull. In addition to the matches themselves, there were several social distractions, including dinners and, naturally, tea poured at the Polo Field House every match afternoon. In 1929, the new Deer Path Inn celebrated its grand opening. Originally located on Illinois Road, the old Deer Path Inn was constructed in 1869 as a family residence. In the 1890s, the house was sold to the city and moved one block north to Deer Path, where it then became a hotel. It changed ownership and name several times before again becoming the Deer Path Inn in 1903. When Edwin Burgess purchased the building in 1924, he found that increased demand necessitated a larger building. He vowed to open a bigger inn within five years, which he did. In 1929, the inn came full circle, moving back to Illinois Road. Edwin Burgess opened the inn to the public for a grand preview where they were able to enjoy refreshments and music. And finally, in 1940, speaking of music, Lake Forester's Mr. and Mrs. Walter Byron Smith played host to musical celebs Lily Pons, an opera soprano, and her husband, Andre Kostelenitz, a musical director. The musical married pair had stopped in Lake Forest between concerts to explore the town and recuperate before moving on to perform again in Milwaukee. Their musical tour, however, was not simply for entertainment purposes. The funds raised by Ms. Pons and her husband in the course of their shows went to French relief efforts for refugees in America. Ms. Pons explained to the Lake Forester that they could not send the money directly to France at the time since all funds were being confiscated by German forces. After playing in Milwaukee, the duo planned to continue to California to perform at the Hollywood Bowl before journeying on to Hawaii. And there you have it. That's This Week in History. Thank you so much for joining me and be sure to check out the History Center website for more great content.